Hey, what's up guys? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever said something that later on you regret? Yeah, that's it. Something that you know you wish you could go back and fix it and never have said it. Because those words, it really have hurt the feelings of someone who loves you. Yeah, this is what I'm going to talk about today. Someone who loves you. People who are around you and want your good. Though sometimes you may think that person is annoying, is trying to rule over your life, uh, is trying to control you, and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's how sometimes young people, they think. I'll help you to understand who I'm talking about. Stop what you're doing right now. Go back to the kitchen. Go, go, mama. Oza, join us. Go there, get your mother who is in the kitchen there, tell her just a quick break and join you to sit next to you, your father. Or maybe your mother, your father is not there right now. But maybe there is someone in the house who raised you, who took care of you, who was there for you. Or maybe, you, I don't know, maybe you are alone. But I'm sure that in life, there was at least once, twice or more, Times I would say that people were um, near you to help you and do good for you. Before I carry on with the subject of those who love you and those who want your good, let me let me speak quickly here about how your parents think. You know, maybe you you're, you're not aware how they think, what they are capable of, how far they would go. Have a look on this video quickly. Just check out this video. That's gonna help you to understand how parents think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that, that's how it is. It, 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 it is, oh, what's the word, man? Um, shocking. No, I don't know. The, the way I was watching this video now, now, before I came to the live broadcast, I was checking this video and I was, you know, just thinking about 
how deep this guy went in order to, to rescue the, the, the cow, the animal. I did not even check which animal was that. But my point here is, there is someone there who wants your good. And, you know, be, before, let me talk about, let me give quickly the message to the parents. Let me stop, speak with the parents who are out there. Many years ago, I would say a long time ago, we would see that parents would have more time to spend with their children. They would have more time to give them attention or spend time with them. And with that, they were able to teach them, to raise their children. Nowadays, we have noticed that, problem number one, parents no longer have time like before. Now we have a lot of single parents who have to go out and work in order to provide. And in some cases, both the father and the mother, due to the situation, they no longer have time. Due to the disobedience of many youth out there who are, I'm sorry for the word, stubborn, and no longer listen to their parents, their parents are unable to teach them or to, to help them. But my point here is, parents, if you don't raise your child, if you don't teach your daughter, if you don't teach your son, the world will raise them. The, the, the world will teach them. We have seen that youth are always on the phone, always surrounded by friends. And that's what they are learning. I mean, that's where they are learning from. They are learning with social media platforms. They are learning with YouTube. They are learning with the TV. They are learning with their friends. They are learning. And the question is, what are they learning? What is it that's influenced them? We have noticed there are a lot of videos out there teaching and influencing young people to do bad things. There is even this video that is, you know, teaching them how to commit suicide. It's teaching young people how, how to do bad things. They are being influenced to do what is evil. So I want you guys to think about it. Think quick about that. Parents, if you don't raise your child, the world will. If you don't take time to teach them something and do your work, the world will. Bad friends will. The social media platforms will. And the young people are watching us right there. Let me tell you something. Though sometimes you may think that your parents are doing it and they are so annoying and provoking you and they don't understand you, though maybe sometimes they may not understand you, I have something to tell you all. They have life experience. All they want is you to learn what they had to learn with their mistakes. Meaning they don't want you to feel the same pain and to go through the same struggle. Think about it. Listen. Right now, take a decision. Take a decision. Take a decision to start, you know, learn how to take time and, and, and have a, how can I put it? A, a, a dialogue, a conversation with the one who actually wants your good. I, I think I have spoken enough. Now, the media group, um, are here with us. They have a strong message to share with you guys. And I'm sure that what I have spoken here have made you to think it's about, about a decision, it's a matter of thinking. Stay connected. Don't forget that next week we are going to be back 4 o'clock and on the 28th of February we have our special broadcast, Why Me? Stay connected. Yes, 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 YPG. My name is Gamu, and today I'm not alone. I'm with Steph. Hi, YPG. My name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to be joining Gamu. Yeah, so we have a very cool and interesting topic for you, but Steph is going to tell us all about that. Also, we have needles. Né? So we want answers from you guys. I want to hear what you think. Okay, so today our topic is the problem with sometimes. Yeah. So I'm going to repeat that. 
the problem with sometimes. Okay, so to start off the riddle. So here's the riddle and you can just write in the comment section what you think the response is. Okay, the answer is, let me say. So here's the riddle. Five green frogs are sitting on a log. Four decide to jump off. How many are left? Okay, <laughs> let me repeat it. So five green frogs are sitting on a log. Four decide to jump off. How many are left? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> what do you think, Amu? In my mind, frogs are always jumping. So, like, all of them jump off. <laughs> I'm sure they, they, they stop, you know, to take a break from jumping. <laughs> I don't know, Mario. In my mind, it's like I, all yeah. of them. Okay. None, none are left. All of them. The one, most probably the one that that wasn't gonna jump was like Eshma, Fomo, okay, Fomo. Out. So I think they followed suit. Yeah. But I, I think none yeah. of them are there. So like, your so answer is none. Yeah. Oh, because they all follow each other. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good um, reasoning. Okay. So let me tell you the answer. Okay. So here is the answer. So, five are left. <laughs> and this is the reason why. Because the four only decided to jump off. They didn't actually jump off. All right, so deciding is not the acting of five. Exactly. Okay. okay. And that's something that we always do. Yeah. You know, we decide, I'm gonna do something, but it doesn't actually mean you're gonna do it. Yeah, same way when you decide that you're going to start studying and start exactly. submitting your assignments on time. Exactly. That you never do it. Exactly. Know? So here comes the topic, um, the problem with sometimes is that, how, wait, how often do you drink water? Sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> and remember guys, doctor prescribed that we should drink at least eight glasses of water per day. So Stephanie goes against the rules and prescriptions of the doctor, which is something bad. No, but I sometimes, <laughs> I sometimes do drink eight glasses. You know, there's those days where I feel very motivated and, and you know, I drink eight glasses. And even sometimes I drink, you know, like one or two. So imagine if she starts doing that all the time. Imagine if she start drinking eight glasses of water all the time. Good, yeah. good help, I mean. Okay, so come, I have a question for you. Okay, so you're still in school. So, how often, how often do you submit your assignments on time? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. And you know what happens, Steph? What happens is that when I do it on time, sometimes, there's no stress, you know? I don't feel pressured or feel stressed that I know I need to submit no due pages today. But when I decide to do it, sometimes, you know, the other times when I don't, Oh, you're one of those people who say they work well under pressure, so they do it like last minute, you know, Sometimes. just to... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <Yeah. laughs> Sometimes I do work well under pressure, sometimes I don't. And that's the problem, you know. Most of us, good results actually are produced sometimes you know? and but then what would happen if i would start doing good things all the time what would happen if i start uh, submitting my assignments on time all the time you know yeah. less stress less pressure and i know that the results are most probably going to be good because mm. if i decide that you know, i'm not going to submit my my assignment late you know it just so happens that i rush on to doing everything just rush and you answer whatever you write whatever and that's the problem, the results are not always as good as when you would do it all the time. So that's one of the most, uh, what, that's one of the most common issue amongst us young people is that we like to do things, good things sometimes, you know. So imagine if you start drinking water, eight glasses of water. Every all the single time. day, the benefits. Yeah. Imagine if you start exercising all the time. Imagine if you start taking care of your health all, all the, time, the time and not only sometimes, you know. So the results are good, mm. but uh, we don't. I think that many people have an issue with consistency. Yeah. Like they will start doing things, you know, some, oh, it's the beginning of the year. 
you know, I'm going to start, I'm going to, yeah. you know, this year I'm going to do this. And we start, January comes, we start doing everything with so much motivation. And then February comes, and then March, mm. April, May, June, and then December comes, and then we realize, oh my gosh, I didn't do everything, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that's the problem. Most of the time we just start off hype, you know, hype. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, and then yeah. you do once, twice, two times, and from there, you all of those dreams and whatever they end up there. So the problem with some times is that you are not always getting good results. The results at the end are not always as good. So stop doing things sometimes and start doing things often, especially good things that you actually need to start doing. Like for example, typical example, sleeping on they said eight <laughs> hours of sleep. Yeah. So how often, yeah, how often do you sleep eight hours? Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem, guys. Yeah. Imagine if you start sleeping all, all the time. time. Yeah. Imagine so I've got, sorry, I've got another riddle. Okay. Now this one is for you, Gamu. What is always coming but never arrives? What is always? <laughs> <laughs> and you can also um, write in the comment section what you think the answer is. So what is always coming but never arrives? <laughs> what is always coming but never arrives? A text. A text? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Um, what's always coming but never arrives? Future. Close. Close. Not bad. It's tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. The oh, reason okay. being is that you always say I'm going to do something tomorrow. Tomorrow comes, but you actually haven't really done it. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow actually hasn't really come. Your tomorrow hasn't come. Mm. Yeah. So that's what that's what's up all the yeah, time. Yeah. That's what's say, up. Oh, I'm going to do something. Yeah. And you do it sometimes, and the problem is sometimes why? Guys, imagine if you start doing all the good things in your life on time, often, all the time. I mean, great results at the end of the day. So it all depends on you, because me and Steph can tell you that you need to do things all the time, on time. Yeah. But it all depends on you. So, yeah, that's the problem with sometimes you will not always get good results. Yeah. Yeah, signing out, we will. See you on YPG RSA, Facebook YPG RSA, and Instagram. Instagram. About the gram, guys. I don't know if you have an account or if you don't have an account, but if you do, follow us on YPG RSA on Instagram. We're going to be going more live on Instagram. We're going to be having some really cool content on the Instagram. So hit us up on I think YPG it's, yeah. RSA, as you can see. Facebook, yeah. yes. YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> um, Twitter as well, and Instagram. So, yeah, signing out. Last one. Never have I ever loved meds. Have you ever loved meds? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Preston Bird. Today we want to take you back to your school days. So we're going to play the Never Have I Ever Challenge with you and with them. So we're going to go out asking them random questions like, Never Have I Ever Bumped Class. Then they will be telling us if they have or they have not. So, come with us. Never have I ever used a skanjani during a test. Never. Never. Never have I ever bunk class. people to stay connected with us and you at home don't miss out see you there 